Hi folks, Bill Schmoker here in my classroom in Boulder, Colorado for Polar Trek and the International Continental Shelf Survey. Just want to take a few moments to talk about the Arctic. We're going to be heading north into the Arctic Ocean on the Coast Guard Cutter Healy to map the seafloor north of Alaska and Canada. And we will be in the Arctic for most of the voyage. It turns out whether or not you're in the Arctic depends on whose definition you're following. One simple definition is anything north of the Arctic Circle is the Arctic. So let's take a look at the Arctic Circle at 66 and a half degrees north latitude. On my map here we pick it up in eastern Siberia and it comes across just north of the Bering Strait, cuts off the north part of Alaska, the northern parts of Canada, goes across the southern part of Greenland, just over Iceland, through Norway, Sweden, and Finland, and back into Russia, all the way across Siberia, back to Alaska. It turns out, though, that there's another way to define the Arctic based on climate. And that would be anywhere north of a line where the warmest month of the year averages less than 10 degrees Celsius. And when we put a line like that on a map, we call it an isotherm, or a line of equal temperature. So let's look at the July 10 degrees Celsius isotherm for the Northern Hemisphere. So let's look at our student journal booklet and turn to the Arctic region map. And in this map, you'll see this winding line representing the 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degree Fahrenheit isotherm for the warmest month of the year, which is July. Everything north of this line going to the North Pole averages colder than that, and everything south of that line averages warmer than that in July. So I would suggest you get a highlighter out and just make it visible. And by that definition, Iceland is barely in the Arctic, but Scandinavia is just south of the Arctic. It still catches quite a bit of Siberia, but it pushes way south down into the Bering Sea just south of the Aleutian Islands and comes back north into northern Alaska and it cuts across northern Canada and through the middle of Hudson's Bay. So if we're defining the Arctic based on the 10 degree Celsius isotherm, anything inside of that line or north of it would be the Arctic. Compare that to the definition of the Arctic Circle, which I'm going to highlight in orange at 66 and a half degrees of north latitude. And you can see that the two definitions don't totally match each other. 